uh, you guys had all assembled by the Toad Father to escape the Pet Cetera. You assembled the, assembled the team of uh, Streaky Pete, the snail, Sneaky Pete, the weasel, who is dead now, Sweepy Pete, the chinchilla, Sleepy Pete, the bat, and Squeaky Pete, the mouse. I'm sorry that's complicated, but it's just how it turned out. Uh, yeah, so you guys kind of like uh, meandered through the store and you kind of found like an air vent and you're, you you uh, broke into it by using uh, uh, Skeeter's uh, super power ability to bite through almost anything. Mm -hmm. And he uh, chiseled a hole out of the air ducts and now you guys are kind of traveling through the air ducts. Um, you managed to steal a lighter, um, which uh, only only Skeeter can use, apparently. And uh, used it to like follow a wind tunnel through like the air vents, and you kind of like hit a dead end where there's this like fan that seems to be like peering out into the outside. And just before you were able to escape through the fan or try and attempt to get through the fan, you're confronted by a weasel um, who accused you guys of being terrorists because you killed uh, Sneaky Pete in cold blood. And then there was a bit of a standoff between betwixt your groups at this point. And I think that's where we kind of finished, right? That sounds about right. Is that the reason they were mad at us? Was because there, like, there was a weasel that died in a ferret involved biting. There was a. a... I'm using the passive voice here because I need to exonerate myself. <laughs> right. There, there was an incident with a ferret and a weasel, and there may have been some sort of. Uh, accusation thrown at you for murdering his friend. But... I got the uh, impression that they had some history as well, Skeeter and this. And Mystery what was weasel. Mystery Weasel? Yeah. Yet That's to... understandable yeah. that somebody would be upset about murder. Yeah. And yeah. You know what? That's a, great way, that's a great way to start our adventure. Um, you're all standing in a standoff, and uh, Bill the Turtle, who has been uh, just kind of straggling behind, like. Turtles are not known for their speed. But was Bill the Turtle in our group the whole time, or was was Bill the Turtle in this uh, group confronting us? Uh, Bill the Turtle just kind of pokes his head around the corner and says exactly what you just said. He's like, you know, that's understandable that you know, he's he's upset. And mm -hmm. uh, the mystery weasel looks at you and he's like, uh, "Bill the Turtle, late as always," <laughs> in the kind of like a <laughs> slightly condescending way, but. He's like, look, your wisdom is no, not welcome here, man. We are about to engage in combat. Now, I should have covered this at the top, but Breezy, earlier when you were when you were describing people being like uh, angry online and you did a cool voice where you said people were talking about the Vax is good, the Vax is bad. That was a cool voice. And can that be Bill the Turtle's voice? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, right. before you commit to this, Please keep in mind that holding a voice, a consistent voice for a character is very difficult, as I've discovered with my French accent and parrot. <laughs> no problem. Right, my voice. All right. I think it's just very energetic, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, he kind of uh, casts a glance at you and he's like, kind of knows that you're like good at resolving situations, but he seems like intent on harming the group or the, the, the murder of his comrade. Mm. And he says, Bill the Turtle, if you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of this. All right. So how do you want to respond to that, uh, Bill the Turtle? Who am I to know what's good for me? I'm interested in what's good for all of the animals. We want to get out of this pet store. Alive, except maybe for the weasel. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, cool. that, 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 that one may be a lost cause. This is a perfect uh, time to roll to see how effective your your charisma is. So roll two dice and tell me what the number pops up. Whoa, eleven! All right. And, uh, the weasel just like he had a really cool like he was like slouching against the fan and then like yeah nice <laughs> he's like slouching in it's the fan and, and like his his like confidence just melts and he's like build the turtle i was afraid you'd do this 
win my heart. <laughs> You're always right, Bill the Turtle. I'm sure we can come to some sort of peaceful resolution. But I feel like, Bill, you and I both know the truth of the situation about trying to escape. That these, these group of travelers are not the first band of Pete's to try and escape. They are a long succession of Pete's. Don't we all remember uh, uh, Leedy Pete, the budgie? Leedy Pete, the frog? <laughs> Creepy Pete, the bush baby? And Sleazy Pete, the other weasel? Sorry, did you say Wait. bush baby? Yeah, yes, he was a, he, yeah, he was a diversity hire. <laughs> Is a bush baby a real animal? Yes. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> this is your character. He's like, look, Pierre Quito, if you don't know what a bush baby is, I, I can't help you. <laughs> I've lived a long time and I've never heard of such a thing, but... but... Uh, and of course, who, who, who could forget all the legends of the, 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 the sheep, Sheepy Pete? Oh, yes, <laughs> Sheepy Pete. Sheepy Pete, the, the guinea pig that had the, the fur that looked like the sheep. Right, right, that's right. Yeah. Anyways, I think there's something you might want to know Nick, about all the. Scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> right as always, build the turtle. No role needed. Your charisma <laughs> is good. But yes, there's something you need to know about all those peats that came before you. That the second that they broke the barrier here behind the fan, they were just essentially lambs to the slaughter. Not many lasted more than 10 minutes outside of the pet cetera. It's, a, it's an intense world out there. There's machines that are that move gravel and land and soar across the sky, and this is not such an easy place to be when you're a pet in pet cetera. Right, we, got, we got someone who can soar across the sky. Isn't that, isn't that right, Parakito? Uh, Yes, but I mean, as soon as we get out of here, I'm flying off on my own. I'm leaving you here. I hope you understand that this we're not in this together. Oh, Parakito, how little you know. <laughs> I like how you're holding a cigarette, by the way. It's very... <laughs> I'm trying to stay in character. <laughs> well, 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 Parakito's not going to help us. We're going to have to look at ourselves. And uh, we'll, we'll, I look over at Sweetie Pete. What do you think, Sweetie Pete? <laughs> He's just enjoying it and Chirito. <laughs> Politely in the back. He's well, like, <laughs> he's like, no, I'll, I'll follow with you later. You know, I always love to hear the sound of your voice, sweetie Pete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, uh, talking about all these Pete's. <laughs> what about Parakito? Mm -hmm. He's a parrot. How come she's not repeating what we said? <laughs> oh, wow, you we know, blew it. So that's actually a really harmful stereotype, and uh, it's very offensive that you would assume that I would do such a thing. Very offensive that I would do such a thing. <laughs> and and the, the, the ferret slams his, his fist onto the, the, the side of the piping. He's like, listen up for Pete's sake. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> he percent to the slaughter out there. We need to confront the real villain in all of this. The Toad Father. He knows as well as the rest of the survivors, like me and Bill, that this is all a sham. There's no true way out of the pet cetera without death coming to you. Is the Toad Father with us, or did he just stay back? No, he's like uh, he's still chilling in that like uh, he had his like lounge area with the swinging overhead lamp, where he like just basically told you that you needed to escape the pet cetera. I, I look around at all the other animals and I say. Yeah, wait, did, did, did any of us question why the Toad Father didn't want to escape? He, he said it was so important to escape. Did, did, does he want to die? What did he say? And all the all the Pete's kind of like look at each other, Pete to Pete, eye to eye, and back to you. And they're like, mm -hmm. and just kind of shrug. Hmm. Oh, no. It um, seems that you were left in the dark. The Toad Father has not told all to you. Has not told told all. He has not told all. He never told all. <laughs> totally. I. <laughs> well, you know, I always towed the line with him, but. <laughs> with him just toting your responsibilities around. I, I knew something was up. That's right. I mean. Doesn't he know that if you protest with your truck, you might get towed? 
<laughs> Everyone nods and looks. <laughs> um, so yeah, I go. You know, it makes sense that we should go after our leaders. As a French, as a French parrot, I could have told you that revolution was the way out of this. Let's let's go figure this out. I don't know. My accent keeps switching. Please ignore. <laughs> did, did you wait? Who who is the who is the ringleader of the group that approached us? Uh, it's like, well, thank you for asking me. My name, <laughs> my name is Sleazy Pete. <laughs> what kind of animal was Sleazy Pete? A weasel. Okay, right. It's a different weasel. Different weasel. Okay. Uh, so I look oh, over at Sleazy one Pete. One dead weasel and one live weasel. Yeah. See, we had enough weasels. We had too many weasels. We're, we got the perfect number of weasels now. It's one of every yeah. animal. Unfortunately, we now we're now left with the lesser of two weasels. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I take great offense to that. <laughs> yes, well, that's my favorite. You always do that. You know what I say? Chew, uh, it's better to uh, uh, stick with the weasel you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was really thing to rude thing to say uh, in in front of the in front of the weasel. The, 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 you don't like him, Parakito, but I mean, I guess it it's understandable you're uh, to be rude. You are French. Um, I am French. <laughs> yes. I'm glad we've established this. So, okay, so, so Pete, before I get interrupted, what? Yeah, what is it? Are Are you saying I'm no longer on trial? Are we putting the system on trial? I'm, I'm telling you that maybe the murder was just collateral damage on a journey that you do not fully understand. Hmm. I can get behind that, and I slink back into the shadows before anyone questions me. <laughs> Seems like we're not going to get justice for this murder, just like as an observational aside. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's potentially going to happen. Like, I, 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 I kind of reemerge from the shadows. We need, we need, we need justice for the, 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 the institutional uh, uh, oppressions of the system, which is why we need to take down the system. And if that, if if, if Sleazy Pete says that uh, entails, take, entails, uh, entails taking out the, 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 the Toad Father, then that's great. Are we talking about taking out this air conditioning system? <laughs> If that's what you think, Bill the Turtle, I, I've always trusted your uh, well, your charisma more than anything. I think it's an avenue of escape for a road, our toad. Mm. I mean, we are kind of in the air conditioning system, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just hanging out. Well, we'll follow your lead, Bill the Turtle. Whatever you want to do, we'll 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 follow you. You're a real, uh, you're a real god among Pete's. And all the Pete's like, ah! I'm, not I'm just sure. among Pete's. I'm not sure. I thought that we would we'd be safer to get out of this pet store, but someone said the world's dangerous out there. Yeah, my name's Sleazy Pete, and you can trust me. <laughs> I, seems I don't know what it, what's everybody else think. Is it what? safe to escape, or are we safer here, hoping that some kind person will take us for a pet and not bring us back to the store again? If only one of us had such an opportunity. Candidly <laughs> <laughs> looks at Parakeeta. <laughs> so, um, Breezy, last last uh, game that we played, I read a heartfelt letter from the pet shop owner in which he um, said that he would adopt me and care for me to the end of his days. Um, and then I lit it on fire because I don't trust humans. Mm -hmm. mm. But... Uh, I say, you know, as, as a French person, I would like to cast my vote for uh, ambushing this uh, toad father and uh, let's uh, viva la re revolution. Let's do this. Let's storm the Bastille. Yeah. And the pizza are like, yeah, that sounds good. You want to do that? Uh, I, I, I'm going to go with the crowd. I, we, we all see what happens when I make decisions. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So you guys want to meander back to where you met the Toad Father? I so I do, but I specifically want to go through the air vents so that we can like drop in from above, like oh, into the yeah, yeah. totally. Um, totally, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, build the turtle having extreme knowledge of the vents, uh, just like guides you. He's like, yeah, I know where to go, and he like guides you to like through the series 
series of events that like lead you to an event that like overlooked that like hanging light fixture that you guys were hanging out with the the toad father in front mm -hmm. of and uh you can kind of see through this like great event like the toad father talking to uh, a rat and uh, <gasps> uh you can kind of eavesdrop in on him and the toad right. father is like yeah and then i sent them all to their death <laughs> and i don't even care about it at all <laughs> Yes, I figure if I keep killing off pets, my my likelihood of being adopted will increase every time. <gasps> every single peat that I've sent to the slaughter. And then the rat's like, yeah, yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like... That was a fantastic like, rat voice. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's like missing patches of fur and he's just like rubbing his hands together. He's like, yeah, yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah I press my ear to the grate to see what else the rat is going to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, shit, <laughs> yeah, fuck boss, yeah, that's so good, he's just swearing, he's just a sailor. Oh, there's, there's, we there's, have to talk about that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to, sorry, yeah, sorry, Bill, 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 I spoke over you, please, 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 uh, uh, speak unimpeded, and I back off. <laughs> wow. Bill conjures. Oh, can turtles get COVID? Who? <laughs> Probably, actually. So, sorry, Bill, what did you say? Bill, uh, I couldn't hear you over Skeeter. What was your suggestion? You want to talk to the rat? We've got to talk to him. We've got okay. to let him know. Mm -hmm. if, if he'll be next, if we're gone. Mm -hmm. Just, so yes, you're... don't let him be deceived. So you're suggesting we try to turn the rat to our side. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Squeaky Pete's like, yeah, that's a great idea. We should do it. Squeaky Pete's a mouse. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's get the brand on our side. Yeah. Uh, all in numbers. Okay. So well, I'm going to try and... Can we open this vent? Uh, yes, you could try and open it, but it may may draw attention to you if you okay. open it. Um, can we, we, need, we need a plan. We need to use the best of our abilities. What are all of the animals that are canonically present in this vent right now? Oh, just so me. we know who is available. Uh, yeah, we got uh, right now uh, Squeaky Pete the mouse, uh, Sleepy Pete the bat, Sweepy Pete the chinchilla, and Streaky Pete the snail. Okay. And the three of us? And the three of you. That's it? Yeah, uh, I don't think uh, Sleazy Pete joined you. Mm. He's hanging out by the vent being cool. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think what we should do is we should send. Sn oh, S squeaky. Oh, no, no. Who's the bat? What's the bat's name? Uh, Sleepy. I think that so we should send Sleepy Pete to create a diversion in the other room to distract the Toad Father. And then I will swoop down and grab the rat and bring him up here. What do you guys think? I think that's great. I don't have to do any work. Perfect. Do you want me to disintegrate the vent cover first with my special power so that by freezing it? Yes. He uh, is uh, Sleepy Pete's like, yes, do that. <laughs> wow, that sounds great. I didn't realize turtles could do that. <laughs> roll. Do I, do I have to roll a dice? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, do it. Ooh. Five. Oh, so... You think that you have that power, <laughs> but you, and you like you like get up on your hind legs. You're like, Whoa. and then uh, you like come in a hum and vibrate at the vent, and and then you uh, you clench and you're like, <laughs> and you you just fart a little bit, <laughs> and then you remember you don't have that power. <laughs> what does a turtle fart sound I like for dried insects? <laughs> A turtle fart probably sounds uh, ten points to anyone who can do the best turtle fart, but um, I would say like, whoa, who did that? That was me. That's pretty fucking good. Cool. Um, yeah, oh, we'll we'll just take that yeah, in post that's, that's and we'll good. just place it over the turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. Perfect. Ten points for parakeeto. Um, right. That actually gives you advantage on your roll, parakeeto. So, <laughs> just all right, forward. <laughs> cool. Um, so. So the vent is not open, but it does have a turtle fart on it. <laughs> Perfect. 
Um, so where's Sleepy Pete? Is Sleepy Pete trying to distract the Toad Father? Uh, the the vent has not been opened, but Sleepy oh, but Pete he, is like, he's oh, like oh he's ready to go. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that um, work. I think it's your I think it's your time to shine there, uh, Sleepy Pete the Chinchilla. Why don't you uh, do you have a plan? How you how do you think we should get this vent open? Uh, uh Sleepy Pete gestures towards a taquito. He's like, mm, sorry, <laughs> taquito. Sweetie <laughs> Pete, you're not being very helpful right now. Ash, I bat the I bat the taquito out of his hands. <gasps> now you fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you guys are just gonna scrap. And uh, he uh, just stomps off in rage. Okay. Stomps off. He stomps off. He's mad. Okay. I eat the uh, taquito. <laughs> can I can I try and undo the screws in the vent with my beak? Yeah, you can do that. Yes. Okay. You guys didn't get this covered. I'm gonna go look for something to eat. Okay, I got an 11 and a minus 1, so I got a 10. Yeah, that works. All right. You expertly open up the screws with your beak. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And because you rolled so good, it just, like, silently, like, and just kind of, like, dangles. And no yeah. one notices. Perfect. And uh, Sleepy right. Pete's like, all right, do you want me to do the thing? Like, scare him? I'm a bat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do your thing. Go for all it, right. Sleepy Pete. <laughs> Uh, and Sleepy Pete just like freaks out and just starts like flying around the room and like scattering papers everywhere and just like causing a ruckus. And the Toad Father's like, ah, whoa, hey, what the fuck? Hey, it's uh, Sleepy Pete. What? Oh, what? Sleepy Pete? And he's like kind of running around trying to gather Sleepy Pete. Or he's hopping, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, so I'm going to fly out of the vent and try and snatch up the um, rat in my talons. Yeah, do it. Oof. Um, I got a f six minus one is a five. Oh, but you got advantage. So you can roll one dice again. Okay, and then that just replaces one of the dice. I got four, um, which I think is was my highest roll last time. So ah, oh, wait, four. I guess so yeah, I guess four plus four would be eight minus one. So I got a seven. All right. Uh it kind of works. Um, okay. Yeah, you like you like, and also just because it's a good plan. But yeah, you sweep down, and you try and grab uh, the rat. He's like, ah, fuck, fuck you, fuck, fuck, and like, he's like kind of wriggling around. And uh, uh, I'm gonna say that you uh, managed to like pull him away. You can't, you didn't get back to the vent, um, but you've like pulled him off to the side, to where the Toad Father can't see him. And you've got, you've got a uh, one-on-one -on -one with Parakuto and the rat. And he's like, let go of me, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Um, so while they're all doing this, because this is a plan I clearly can't help with as somebody who doesn't fly, I want to kind of like dart down the vents after Sweepy Pete the Chinchilla to see if I can go find him and maybe like just apologize. <laughs> can, I make, can I make a suggestion? Because you're extra long, could we just like use you? Because the, the, the rest of the animals use you as a rope to shimmy down out of the vent? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That seems like something that would be helpful to the group, which I know you don't like to do, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be helpful by splitting up the party into more manageable chunks, which makes <laughs> right. it easier Not helping. for the GM. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so as I'm, I'm torn on this decision um, over whether I should be selfish or help people, because usually I'd be selfish, but in my head, I remember the words of the the most uh altruistic animal i ever met sweepy pete the chinchilla <laughs> and i think of what sweepy pete would have said to me or what sweepy pete said to me all those years ago that warmed my heart <laughs> and i hear in my head hey man <laughs> just go and do it for, for the good of the team without the team what do you have and i I, I go over and I do exactly that. I, what am I doing? Am I like dangling myself from the vent and just let people hang on me? Yeah, or I think I mean, it, it, theoretically, because you are made of like you know muscle and flesh and bone, you probably could like wrap yourself around people and lower them down. I don't know how long you are. You decide. I, I was just gonna say like four inches longer than a normal ferret, which makes me still like maybe a foot and a half long, tip to tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like we're on like a twenty foot ceiling. 
Uh, no, I'm gonna say because it's your superpower. Your your like my superpower is biting. I thought it was your extra long. No, that's my what do I look like? Oh, right. No, I I don't know. I, I really like the idea. It works. <laughs> like, okay. it, you're in like you're in like a you're like behind, or maybe there's a cage that's only a few feet below the ceiling. Yeah, you're like in behind um uh like the walls of the pet cetera. So it's like I don't know, it's like indescript. Who knows really what that looks like? So I'm gonna <laughs> say that the the the, the vent to the floor area is one ferret long, one extra long ferret long. Right. Okay. That's Rachel and Michael Jordan in Space Jam. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh and all, all the peats intuitively know what to do and they start to like shimmy down this extra long ferret's body. And uh while they're shimmying down, uh the, the rat like looks at you and he like gives you a nasty look. He's like does like an anime thing, he's like, nah. <laughs> he's like, What's your deal? Why are you grabbing me? What what do you want? So I know start swearing. That- <laughs> I know that I, like, as a cynical old French parrot, am not going to be able to convince this rat to join the good of the group because I haven't even convinced myself that. Um, so I turn to the person that I know is best suited to change the hearts and minds of other animals, and I say, "Bill, Bill, I need your help here. I think I think you should take this one." Of course, pear. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's that voice I'm treating you. My special power to make him love everyone and everything. Yeah. yeah. Roll the dice. Ooh, three. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Um, the power yeah, of the rat, love is not with the force. Yeah, the make. rat somehow, like, the sight of... Three plus one. Three plus one, right. Okay. <laughs> so somehow, uh, Parakito, you just, like, grab the rat in your claw and you'd like gesture towards the turtle and like <laughs> and like, <laughs> like Bill do your thing and then the rat just like squints at Bill and he's just like I I don't know why but I just hate more now <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah. no. yeah. and he starts like clawing at you he's like let me go I'll kill you so in watching Bill's fantastic attempt to try and get this rat to love I see, I finally start to understand what true altruism and true love for um, each other is. Um, can I, like, combine my, like, can I, like, turn my uh, realization of altruism into, like, a some sort of, like, booster for, yeah. for Bill the Turtle's move here? I'm trying to try and, like, uh, channel the zeitgeist of what it is to be French. And like <laughs> intuitively, like Squeaky Pete like walks up outside you and like grabs your claw. He's like, "We could do it together." And like <laughs> Squeaky Pete is like crawling up on top of your head and then like gesturing with his little eye, eye things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that's all the Pete's actually. Yeah, Sleepy Pete's distracting uh, the the Toad Father, yeah. and they're like, "We could do it together with friendship." Come on, Skeeter. <laughs> And we all look at Skeeter. Skeeter, we cannot do this without you. Please. Oh, I'm, 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 am I still hanging like from the vent or like is ever ever climb down me? Yeah, and, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, guess, like, I feel ferret... like I was still hanging on because I was just gonna be the escape ladder. Yeah, so. ferrets take no fall damage. So okay, okay, okay. I'm coming down. What do you want me to do? And then I drop down. He's like, we, we need to we need to channel the zeitgeist of what it is to be French and <laughs> teach this rat how to love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But 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 put me put the rat. Where's the rat? Right here. And he's like, <laughs> he's like all like missing patches of fur. And just, like, uh, a snot bubble kind of like pops. <laughs> so, uh, little rat nose. And I um, I walk up to the rat and I go, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> uh, Monsieur le rat, uh, pourquoi tu es si fâché? Il faut que tu aimes tout le monde avec nous, tes amis. And uh, without any prompting whatsoever, all the Pete's join in like almost like a chant, and they say the exact same thing in French. And uh, roll, roll. Okay, let me let me let me get my uh, my mic in position. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, I think this is a spirit roll. Okay, so that was a nine plus one, which is a ten. Nice. 
Yay. Okay. And uh, Skeeter somehow uh, like has conquered his own ferrety nature and uh, has united all the Pete's and Parakeeto and Bill the Turtle to channel Bill the Turtle's ability to make uh, creatures love love everything. And the rat just like it's almost like a Disney like like sparkles just like wing like sparkle across his body is like all the patches of fur gain new fur um he used to be like brown and scuzzy and now he's like blonde <laughs> he has like a really long like tail that's like beautiful so i've and... conquered my ferity nature yes so i've gone i've made a huge transformation from being like kind of creepy untrustworthy rude and selfish and kind of smelly uh and now i've become french um which is a very different whether, thing. whether it's temporary or permanent is okay you know up for a debate but wow, essentially you turned, you turned uh, the rat beautiful and he is like and he's just like he's just like a ah oh, oh, i i can't believe i used to swear so much that's so lame. I could use more creative words to communicate my thoughts and feelings. I'm sorry, guys. Well, you, you know what, Mr. Rat? Now, 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 now that you're going to be censoring yourself and your own curse words, we can, we can call you Bleepy Pete. <laughs> so you can still swear, but now somehow magically, if, if any one word I come across is later, you would you would just be bleeped. I don't, I don't even have the desire to swear anymore. I just want to help help the community. I think I'm going to start a market garden right here in the floorboards. Mm -hmm. Or I could help you guys. I don't know. What do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to say, I'm going to look at him and go, we need you to tell us what the Toad Fossil is planning and how to undermine him. Oh, he's doing, he's planning on doing terrible, terrible things to everyone. And you know what? I, I, I feel bad for yes manning him on all these things. And I, I want to let you guys know I've changed. And, I'm, 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 here, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help. Listen, Bleepy I'm Pete. I'm a nice rat now. <laughs> if you if you help us, I'll be forgiven. And at the end of all this, I'll, I'll work in your market garden. And he like nuzzles up for a hug. He's like, really? Yeah, yeah I mean, we. Oh, we. Yeah, you and me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, That's right. <laughs> and uh, the rat's like, oh, yeah, well, he's he's been trying to kill off all the pets in the Pets out in hopes that he'll get adopted because he knows he's 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 a mean he's a mean toad. He's a mean toad and he needs to change, but he won't. And he's just sending all the peats in the store to be like slaughtered in the outside world. And uh it's really it's really not a nice thing that he's doing. So k k k k kill another pet in the pet cetera. Who, who would do such a thing? I can't imagine. <laughs> Horrible. Not you. You want to work in a market garden. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um so I look over at Bill and I go, Bill, what what do you think? How do you guys think we should stop him? Or like, I guess I'm gonna. This is a question to the group, not specifically to Bill. But Bill, if you have some input, this would be helpful. What uh, what? How do you think we should stop this Toad Father fellow? Oh, baby, okay. guys, Bill's Bill's lost in thought. That means he's gonna come up with something good. Maybe we'll learn. <laughs> All I can think of is something good or something bad. <laughs> oh. oh. What do you think we should do? Go for the good solution or the bad solution? Try for the good or try for the bad? Oh. We could freeze him and, 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 until he's brittle and break him into a million pieces. <laughs> oh, wow. Or with my special freezing power. Or... We can try really again to warm his heart and make him love us all. Well, my old self would have, would have, would have said, "Let's freeze him and break him." But uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defer to, uh, I, I'm gonna defer to the Parakeeto because I, I keep deferring to Bill. And my, my, my old rat self says, "Murder <coughs> with love." What do we do, Parakeeto? Oh boy. Um. Freaky beats like, what do we do? We trust you, Barakito. <laughs> this is my problem when I played Fable as a kid, is I never went for the evil thing. I I think, you know, the love the love thing worked really well for the rat, and I think we should I think we should try this this one more time. And if you know what, if that fails, we can always kill him afterwards. I am I am I'm good either good way. Point. Very <laughs> good point. 
And as you say that, like this, like uh, the the light from the overhead uh, swinging lamp is, seems to be like blotted out for a bit, as uh, the Toad Father like looms above the group, and uh, you just see a bat wing kind of like sticking out of his mouth. Oh and, no! Uh, and he's like, <laughs> "Is that so? You think it's so easy to make a toad love everything, or to slay a toad such as I?" And he like. And he like takes a big breath in and inflates his like toad body. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. he does like a boss laugh, like, whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, I do. I scream back, and I want to take a try and take a very bold action here. W what I want to do, uh, because my power is biting, but yeah. I want to use my powers for love now, is I want to run up to the toad father and bite him on his lower lip, but <laughs> in a sensual way. As I'm, as I like make out with him, like I just go and I just, just try to make out with the toad father. Yeah, I want to go make out with the toad father, but like use my all my years of biting experience to know how to bite his lower lip in the most enticing way. But now for love, yes. Hey, I'm not gonna bite it off. It's 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 gonna be sensual. All right, I'm that's gonna, what I that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna say if you roll a uh, seven plus, mm -hmm. it is for love, but if it's below, it's for evil. And what am I rolling? Uh, two Ds. Uh, I think ooh, I don't know. Mm, this is a uh, say. I'm gonna say spirit. Cause you're just trying to like decide who you are right now. Okay. So I get a plus one. All right. Come on, come on. Um, for the viewers at home, I got a. Can you see it? There we go. Hi. Hi. I have to see the guys right there. It's is actually and frowned upon term in this pet shop but <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you like uh you like he's like Bleh! he's like distracted his eyes are like poking in different directions he's like Bleh! 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 and you like ferret around his body and like bite his lower lip and he's like Bleh! and you just like <laughs> there's a moment of like eye contact where you just like bite down hard and just like Bleh! and he just like blood starts just like squirt out of his lower lip he's like and he like he like thrashes you to the side as he like looms towards the group and he's like, So it's gonna be like that then, is it? And he's like goes a bit Scottish. And he's like <laughs> leaning over you and he's like seems to be like about to attack the, the group. Am I still lashed onto his face or did I uh or did I was like No, he, he threw you aside as he's like now just like you've angered him in such a way where he's about to attack oh, attack no. the group. Uh, uh, deeply ashamed, I, I look for something to hide under. It is achieved. Um, he's like, you'll never stop me in my, my ongoing attempts to slay every Pete in the pet store. Jesus. <laughs> so, I go, well, I, I think that kind of cancels out the love thing. I think we should just try and freeze and shatter him at this point. What do you guys think? I'm... <laughs> I can't answer. I'm hiding. I'm gone. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Be like, yeah, I don't know. Seems pretty mad. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Bill, are you able to use your powers to stop, stop this evil toad? I certainly hope so. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try now. He's already took an upper roll. He's, he's, he's ready. Oh! Is that a good or a bad one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nine plus one, ten. Yeah, so like the, the toad father is like, oh, I'm evil and irredeemable in every single way, so don't feel bad about killing me. And then like uh, Bill the Turtle does the same, like, Ooh, and it's like kind of like, Ooh. and uh, Squeaky Pete's like, oh, no, not this again. But then like, Ooh, and like, a, like, a, like a ray of frost just like shoots from his turtle hands and like spiral rolls around the toad father. He's just like, Bleh! and kind of like freezes in a like a <laughs> upright frog position. And you can imagine what that looks like. And he just like turns solid into ice. Chwing! <laughs> just like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Is, wait, what, what, am I, what am I seeing here? Is that what? That's the ice beam? Yeah, that's oh, the ice okay. beam, and uh, the Toad Father is frozen solid into a solid block of ice. 
but you can still see his eyes like okay. <laughs> darting around and looking. Right. looking I have around. an idea. Um, so I would like to pick because I am looking for something that's heavy and hard that I can drop onto the toad to shatter him. So I would like to try and pick up Bill the turtle and drop him onto the toad father to shatter him. Bill, do you consent? Certainly. This is a wonderful plan. I'm okay. a certainly. This is a wonderful plan. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bill. Hold on tight. Oh, boy. Uh, I got a three. <laughs> Give more dice, Kelly. Oh, yeah, there's a whole jar there. Oh, okay, I just kill my own. So, yeah, you, like, you, like, try and grab Bill, and he just, like, you just kind of, like, fumble and trip and fall. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. But then, Squeaky Pete's like, I've had enough! And he, like, picks up Bill, even though Squeaky Pete's <laughs> inside. And he's like, meow! Yeah! And he's, like, he eats Bill in a perfect, like, football spiral. <laughs> Lies through the air. And shatters. Uh, the Toad Father, right in the middle, is, like, the Toad Father shambles into, like, a million pieces onto the floor. And Squeaky Pete's just like, <laughs> but he's not good. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I notice that um, I do, I do see from my hiding place that the uh, the Toad Father has exploded into a million pieces, and I poke my head out from my hiding spot and I say, "Wow, that's uh, that's quite the break." <laughs> and everyone looks at the camera, <laughs> just kind of smiles. <laughs> Uh...